Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. This is Jake. Happy New Year. This is your weekly update, so make sure you share it on all your platforms. More like we, a monthly update. It's been it's been a couple of weeks over the holidays, and so we've got a lot happening. The New Year's kicked off. As we said Sunday morning, Jake, you can't go back, but you can start over. So this is your chance. Marty this McFly year. went back a few uh, times. Yeah, but that was a movie. It's not true. So let me mention a couple of things that happen every month. Uh all year long. This Sunday, we have grief support. Immediately following the service, 1130, you'll see signs set up in the hallways for people that are struggling with grief. And it's a great ministry. You have fed a great lunch and time to share. You don't have to share. You can just be ministered to. Happens every month. Every also, month on the second Sunday. Yep. So this uh, this week, it'll be the eighth. Then the following Sunday, we have Women's Facing Cancer Together, third, third Sunday. Sunday of the month. If you're a lady or you know a lady that is um, walking through cancer, Cancer or has walked through cancer. It's a great ministry. Also, uh, every month on what what Sunday? Fourth Sunday. Fourth Sunday. This month, it falls on the 22nd. We have our new members class. You're interested in joining Summit Heights, get involved in that. Get signed up for it. Happens on the fourth Sunday of every month. That's happening this month as well. Also, every Wednesday night, Jake, we have student ministry from sixth grade to twelfth grade. It's a great ministry for our teens. Starting January the 18th, we have Kid Venture starting back for our children. Uh, I'm telling you, a full schedule. That doesn't include our prayer ministry every Monday, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Man, there's a lot happening in Summit Heights right now. And that's just that's just regular events. That doesn't include the Jamaica meeting, Jamaica mission trip coming this up. This Sunday. This Sunday. If you're interested in Jamaica, there is a deposit due. Under dollars. Packets that you can pick up. This Sunday, right after church, Kristen will be meeting with you guys, so make sure you connect with her. Read your emails, because I'm sure you've got an email or a text if you've signed up, right, Jake? Emails are important. Uh, so that'll happen this week. Also, there's going to be a new ministry launch. You've been hearing about it. I'm wearing another shirt today, Fathers in the Field. Uh, it's going to be launching January the 15th. All those men and their why, if you're married, your wives are invited to a um, training meeting meeting this uh, on the 15th, right after <coughs> church. If you're a single mom and you have a young man, uh, we're going to be giving you instructions on how you can connect uh, your son, possibly to a mentor father, but you'll hear more about that on the 15th. So really excited about that, Jake. And then on the 29th, we have a acoustical, now. as you say, now. acoustical now. night of worship. So N-O-W. That's a lot, dude. Night of worship. I like the acoustic sets. Do you? It kind of reminds me of MTV. Yeah, yeah unplugged. I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. So, man, I, I that's that's a lot. What else you got? Well, I just want to clean up some of the stuff you said. You were talking so fast. Half, half our audience is probably bewildered right now. If I can use such a that's word, it's a big word for you, man. Bewildered. So, on the Wednesday night, students meet every Wednesday night. On the Kid Venture Wednesday nights, it alternates. So you have kindergarten through second that'll start meeting that first night, and then you go through to the next Wednesday, it'll be third through fifth. So they alternate, but our students, six through 12, meet every <laughs> night. Yeah. No, just wanted good. to clean a little bit of that up. Well, I appreciate that. You know, I, still I was th I thinking about starting to do that on Sunday mornings after calling, the sermon. Well, no, not after the sermon, after each point, calling a timeout coming up. And then just kind of cleaning some stuff up. And Can I'll, I throw a challenge flag if you do that? Then I'll step down and I'll let you go to the Can next Can I throw point. a challenge flag if you do that? I mean, if you want to, there's really not going to be much to review. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know, I was thinking on, on a serious note, uh, there, there is a lot that goes on at Summit. I think sometimes we forget of everything that goes on because some of you just attend on Sunday mornings and, and we're glad you do that. Summit is a safe place. But I was thinking this morning, Jake. Psalms 90, 12 says, teach us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And we want you to have wisdom. And part of teaching uh, us numbering our days aright means that we're, um, we're, we're using our time wisely. We're using the days that God has given us. And I know many of you are involved in many other things besides Summit Heights, from sports to children to retirement, fishing, fishing all that. Somebody told me the other day that's been retired, Jake said, you know, since I've been retired, I I look back and don't know how I had time to work. They're so busy now in retirement. Uh, so the truth is, we all need help in numbering our days. So as we think about this new year, I said last Sunday, can't go back, 
but we can start over. Here's what I want to challenge you to do. And I know this is uh, at the end of the video. You're going to hear this again. But Psalms 145 verse 4 says this, and I'm going to be preaching on this this Sunday. So I want to give you just a little bit of preview. It says, let each generation tell its children of your mighty acts. Let them proclaim your mighty power. Well, Summit, here's what I want to do this year, because we're going to be talking about story a lot this year. What's your story? Do you have a mighty act of God that God's done in your life that you could share? Well, if you do, I want to hear about it. And you can send that to me at edward at summitheightsfellowship.com. The mighty acts of God, one generation telling the next generation, let's declare his praises. So if you have a story, if God's speaking to you in a certain way, I know a lot of you reached out to me last week after the sermon. If you've got something God's sharing with you and God's doing with you, a victory or he's speaking to you. We want to hear about it. So Edward at summitheightsfellowship.com. Let's declare this generation to the next generation of the mighty acts of God. Summit, I love you. I uh, can't wait to hear from you. I can't wait to see you Sunday. Uh, Jake, you got anything else to add to that? I don't even feel like I was a part of this video. I know there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of stuff. I'm glad you were here though, man. Yeah. Uh, two are better than one. They have a good return for their work. Summit, we love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Make sure you share this on all your platforms. Uh, share the word. You don't have to share the video, but share the information. Uh, talk about it. Uh, one generation shares with the next generation. So Summit, we love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Have a great weekend. We love you.